Hello again, yes, second upload of the day, wearing the exact same jumper in the exact same room. Um, I thought I'd upload a video on um, November and December's glossy boxes of 2013, because yes, I unboxed them, um, but I haven't actually reviewed them after use, um, if I used it because there were a bit of a few iffy ones in there. So I thought I'd take this opportunity to review November's and December's, uh, which I should have filmed in January. Um, and then I will review um, January and February's in March, and then March and April's in May, and so on and so forth. I have my laptop on my lap. Laptop. Um, with the list of the things that I actually got in the boxes because my memory is terrible and um, yeah, I need them. I don't have the items with me because I'm in London um, and all the items are either at home in Liverpool or I don't have them anymore because I gave them away to friends and family at Christmas. So um, yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing um, is the November one, and it was my first ever glossy box, and hopes were high, but they just came tumbling down. Um, one good thing that I got, or should I say, I got a few. I got a few good things. I'm just gonna get into it. I ramble. Anyway, elegant touch, rapid dry for nails. Like I said in the November box unboxing video, words just aren't forming today. Um, I have used it before, um, I do still have it, I haven't actually used the one that I got in my glossy box though, what does that say? Um, but I do like it, I just, I haven't been bothered, and to be fair, I haven't been doing a lot of normal manicures, it's been shellac, and it's UV cured, so you don't really need it. Um, okay, second item was the Yves. Rocher collection hand cream um, and it was in the scent chocolate and pistachio like I said in the video when I saw the words chocolate and pistachio I was a bit like oh my god why would you do that chocolate yeah how posh did I just sound then chocolate yeah pistachio mm. but the two together it's okay and like I said in the video the chocolate overpowers the pistachio so it was fine smells really like cocoa-y and cocoa buttery, that kind of smell. Third item was the Emite Micronized Eyeshadow. Um, it was very, very pigmented, which was a plus. Um, however, it was shimmery, um, and I don't wear eyeshadows. Um, but it did go into someone's um, Christmas present. So I hope they like it. I haven't actually asked if they have. Um, so but it was good. The Agus Oils Face Glow. Now this outraged me. Cause as you know, when you sign up to Glossybox, they tell you to fill in a beauty profile, um, ask you about your hair, about your skin, about age, concerns, whatever. One of my main concerns was that I had an oily face. They send me face oils. Thanks. Um, so that, didn't do so good. I think I actually gave that to my mum, but I haven't asked her if it's any good. Probably she did a bit more research before I did this video, but anyway, um, I didn't like it, I didn't use it, so. And then the last item for the November box was the Vichy Laboratories Life Serum and Cream. Again, it was for the face, but it was for a normal type face. Um, I'm not a normal type in any way. Um, so again, I think a couple went to my mum and one went to my sister or vice versa because they're like normal combination, dry, that kind of area. Um, okay, December's box, um, a lot better. I did like this. Um, it was the Rituals Miracle Balm White Lotus and Ginkgo Biloba Rich Nourishing Hand Balm, um, extremely thick perfect for people with dry hands. Um, I found that at the salon um, it really helped a couple of clients um, 
with dry skin because of the cold weather and the wind. Um, very nourishing, seeps in, doesn't kind of sit on your skin. If you just had snorting, that was the dog, that was in no way coming out of me. Um, so perfect. Um, second item was the Seche Beat Nail Varnish in Portobello. And it was a really nice um, wintry, chocolatey type colour. Um, and Seche Beat, great brand. It's the only colour I've actually used, but as I said in the video, I have used their top coat before and it's the best top coat, apart from the fact that it seemed to evaporate really, really quickly, only after a few uses. So that's one downfall. Um, but the colour, I haven't seen that happen at all, so maybe there's a, it's a different formula, I don't know. But yes, good. Um, then the third item was the Maybelline New York Sculpting Brow Mascara. I've used it a couple of times, I actually used it for my sister's wedding. My eyebrow stayed in place, that's good. My eyebrows can be a little unruly, um, so it helped to kind of not solidify them, because that sounds disgusting, but it kind of helped to preen them into shape. Um, so that was good. Um, fourth item was Beautiful Lips, Beautiful Movement Cosmetics, um, and it's one of the Pussycat Dolls um, companies, brands thing, um, and it was like a light shade of pink. I do like it, I've used it a couple of times, um, but I like quite a bold lip, like now. Not really bold enough, but what can you do? Um, so yeah, but it's good if you kind of like the laid back look. And then the last item was the Intuition Natural Sensitive Care Razor. I had used it before, um, I did like it, the only thing that I was a bit about was that the moisture bar on the actual razor at the top and at the bottom oh no it's all round not on top of the bottom doesn't last very long um it's like a bar of soap basically so if you were to leave that bar of soap under the water it starts well not even just under the water if you start to use it that bar of soap gets smaller and smaller and smaller well this razor has like a bar of soap on the end of it kind of thing so that you don't have to lather up before you shave it kind of just helps lather up as you're shaving um, but I found it didn't last very long so you had to constantly be buying replacement razors um, when you can just use your body wash or even hair conditioner before you shave with a normal razor and I think that works out cheaper because the replacement ends are quite expensive um i've been kind of going between my normal razor and that razor and they shave both the same it's fine um but i do find that it goes down quite a bit and as soon as that's gone i'm probably not going to use it i'm probably just going to end up using my normal razor again so that's it that was the two glossy boxes of november and december 2013 reviewed it was supposed to be january but i lied um so i hope it's not too late and then I will be reviewing January's and February's in March. Um, so I look forward to doing that because it's nearly March. So maybe I could do it in March. Yes. Um, 